Hey guys, welcome to uh, Wasteland Games. I uh, thought I'd pick this uh, car up uh, from the grocery store um, that's local to me. And uh, basically this is, uh, I, I believe it's a Supra actually. Uh, I, I think it is. I'm gonna go on a limb here and maybe be wrong, but it's a, it says it's a GRX, it says muscle and blown GRX 50. So, I guess I could be completely wrong, but to me, when I grabbed it, it looked like a Supra, but uh, now that I'm looking at it, it's definitely, um, it's definitely modified, but pretty cool car. It's from the Rod Squad, um, number five out of five. It's got the same uh, coloration as the, um, the Rickestein Rod. Um, I think I said that right. And there was a few other cars that came out with the same kind of coloration as well. It's pretty cool. This is sort of like a grayish blue car. Uh, fortunately, I don't have one of those Erickstein rods uh, near, my, near me right now. But uh, anyways, let's, uh, let's open her up. Let's see what this uh, car is all about. Um, yeah, I picked it up in a lot. Well, I bought a few cars at the same time because I just, I don't know, I was itching to buy something while I was grocery shopping and thought I'd, uh, thought I'd grab this. So, Nice looking car. Uh, paint job is is actually amazing. Uh, the temples, actually, this one's already kind of scratched. Oh well. Um, I don't know. I may actually use this for a, for a modif modification project, like some kind of custom, uh, maybe a post apocalyptic gaslands vehicle. Uh, but I don't know. I actually just kind of like it now that I've seen that it has some scratch. I'll have to take a look, a deeper look at that. Um, so it's not like mint out of the package by any means. I didn't notice that before, but I think this was the only one that they had at the time on the shelf, but really like the, the engine exposed here. It looks really cool. It's got, um, radiator in the front here. Basically it's got like some kind of supercharger I would suspect in there. It's got some exhaust, uh, pipes are sticking out the side here, which is really neat. And yeah, just going around to the back, it's got, uh, the fascia at, at the front and the back are really, really cool. So this body kit in general is actually is really neat. Uh, let's see here. It's got like some kind of roll bar at the back. So this is totally like a race car uh, kind of kind of setup. The uh, interior is looking pretty shiny. Uh, I guess they just chrome the whole thing, right? So if you want to do a custom job on this, it's better take it apart and, you know, just kind of paint, paint the interior and do whatever the heck you want with it really. But, um, really like the, uh, the shape of this car. It's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. It reminds me of one of those like uh, Cobra Daytona type of cars, uh, as well, just kind of in the, sh the, gen the general shape of it. Um, I don't know in terms of modding this out, I'm not too sure what else I would do to it. Um, make it look a little bit more detailed, maybe, uh, I don't know if I were to do a, a gas lens conversion on it. Who knows? It looks really, really cool right out of the box like this. I mean, for something like that, because this would be essentially a performance car, uh, some kind of a good uh, racing car. So really, really quick, maybe machine gun, stuff like that on it. I don't know. <laughs> Just kind of a, an interesting idea. Actually, with the back here, you can do something kind of clever. You can maybe do like oil slicks or something like that. Um, you know, sky's the limit if you're just doing some gaming mods to these things, right? So, anyways, uh, thanks a lot for checking out uh, this video of the uh, GRX uh, 50. Uh, actually, really called Muscle and Blowin', um, which is part of the some of the, the latest uh, Hot Wheels line. Um, yeah, anyways, thanks a lot for checking out the video, and have a fantastic day.